Hi guys, Amer again. Welcome back to my shop. This is video number 100, I believe. And it's the first video with the new intros. That's still a work in progress and it will develop as we go, but it's a good start. I've also started to use Adobe Premiere Pro for editing. That's a very steep learning curve, so I've lost a couple of weeks just getting things put together and working out and finding my way around it, it feels like. But back into the videos, this is a bit closer look at, at something that a few people have asked me about, and I thought everyone had one of these, but obviously not. It's a look at the diamond tool holder, which is this beast here. This one actually come from my father who bought it and it really wasn't big enough for his machine I don't think so it didn't get a lot of use but I've used it pretty well exclusively except for a couple of jobs and I love it so I thought I'd give you a bit closer look I've taken it apart and cleaned it up so it comes with these bits uh, this is a sharpening jig and it's just a, a slot in a piece of plate with a with a bolt to hold it in place and that's used to get the right the right angle and the right shape against the bench grinder you see a bit of a curve there if you look and that just sits on the the bench grinder plate and you get a fairly nice finish with that just moving it backwards and forwards nice sharp corner so that's the sharpening jig that comes with the tool and that's the that makes it very very easy to get a sharp tool and the right height and then the right angles it's open to abuse see this one's got a corner missing we must have done some pretty heavy interrupting cut with that but this shun's nice and sharp. Now this just has a an unbreaker or a set screw in here. And if you have a close look you can see the groove down there for the tool. And the tool just slides in that groove. Like such. And you do up the do up the screw. This is way too high here. That's not going to be anywhere near my centre height. But if we put this back in here, Have a look at this we can see that that's pretty high so I'm just gonna drop this down to the right center height you can see how easy that is to do Probably I should have some sort of a height gauge for this. It's on my list of things to do. But that's pretty close and what I normally do is take a facing cut on something just to make sure it's right before I before I say it's set up properly. It doesn't have to be particularly tight on there.
So you can see that the geometry for this tool is got clearance on this side and clearance on this side and clearance on the back. It's as simple as that. And it doesn't need to be rocket science. And you put it together and it works. And it's right every time. Gives you a nice sharp tool. And it's just the thing. This particular design was designed in Australia. There's a company called Eccentric Engineering in Melbourne. Um, they produce these things and sell them internationally. And it's called a diamond tool holder. It got quite a write up in America and quite a write up here in Australia when it was released and that's probably 15 years ago 10, 12, 15 years ago and this is one of the earlier models it's been around for a while I don't think they've changed much though I believe that it's a copy of an American tool holder from the 1930s but I don't know very much about that I don't believe that the, the actual principle of this has been around for a long time so anyway, for your money you get a sharpening jig. This actually has a another groove in here for sharpening a tool so that you can cut 60 degree angle threads, which is fairly useful on a small lathe. Um, and you get an Allen key which is in the cupboard because loose allen keys in my workshop are complete and utter waste of time so I use the set and that way they don't all get lost and I'm not always looking for the right one and the tool holder and I believe it come with a piece of tool steel too now this is a quarter inch model it takes a quarter inch tool a piece of tool steel here. I think they come up to 3.8 and down to 3.16 I think. There are some quite big ones. So that's the diamond tool holder and how it works. I will put the website to get one down the bottom of this and it's eccentric engineering. I believe that there are companies in America that import them and I suppose that companies in the UK do too but not very many people in the UK seem to have seen one, so that's what this video is all about. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for your patience, there hasn't been very many videos this week. And thanks for all your feedback and comments, I really appreciate that. So let me know what you think of the new intro. And this is video number 100. Woohoo! Let's keep going.